today we're going to talk about how to appropriately set up your fenders on your boat so that you minimize the amount of damage done at the dock or when docking next to other boats. So first things first, you've got your fender and your fender line. Always run the loop end of your line through the fender and your lead line through the loop. That's going to leave you a lot of free rope for when you tie the fender to the actual boat. So, with Mastercraft, you're going, to, you're going to want to pull out this pop-up cleat. Get that fender lined up with the dock. If it's a little bit lower dock, it's going to have to go a little closer to the water. But if you have a higher dock, like what we we're about to park on, you're going to want to go right up to the rub rail and go ahead and tie it off your figure eight. And do the same on the back side. Always try to do this before you approach the dock, that way you have some sort of cushion between you and the dock in case you come in a little too hot and scratch the side of the boat. It's important to make sure that the height of the fender is appropriate too. You can see in this instance, I tied this fender way too low and it's not really gonna do much in protecting my boat against this dock. So, to fix that, untie your original loop, get it up to the appropriate height, which at this point looks to be just underneath the rub rail, and then go ahead and tie off again. You can do the pull test just to make sure that that fender is going to hit in the right spot. All I'm doing here is pulling the boat against the dock, making sure that that's going to stop my gel coat from getting damaged. 